one area of fact of enduring fascination for me is is spreadsheets which i find absolutely fascinating because it takes yes. a good idea and implements it incredibly badly um, yeah. um uh in the sense of vision people find grid forms it's very very intuitive there's there's you know i mean what kid doesn't like squared paper you know this, yeah. this kind of stuff it's like we like laying things out in grids and tables and all the rest of it this is incredibly intuitive and it's it's a very to be fair to be fair model. that might just be you and me <laughs> yeah, that's true. yeah yeah this might be a conversation just the two of us obviously anybody else in the comments is free to add in but you know it's, it, it's, this whole thing like is incredibly intuitive at that level but the problem is there are two very fundamental issues that uh, that scupper um, spreadsheets and make them massively error prone. One um, is uh, well, three. Let me let me raise that to three. Okay. Um, one is the fact that you end up with a lot of interdependencies very yeah. very quickly um, if you're doing anything that is is reasonable. And then the next bit, and they're all invisible. Yes. And this is the one, that, and that this is this is the one thing that, as a software developer, you kind of look at spreadsheet and go, "Well, that's a nice start, but where's the button that I press that shows me all the dependencies between everything? You've hidden all of the code. You've hidden the bit that actually makes it that shows me the structure and therefore reveals my assumptions. You've actually, and, I mean, and I understand." And there's no real mechanism for me to step back to safety when I screw it up. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Uh, but, but there's that idea that we've lost the bit. In other words, what we've yeah. done is we've presented the veneer and treated that as the whole. Whereas no, yes. software uh, spreadsheets have a deep structure. But I, can, you know, it, it, honestly, even just using something like um, uh, even, a, even a Word document has better structure, structuring yeah. tools than um, uh, uh, Excel. You know, yeah. in Excel, I can go in and I've got, I've got the grid. That's it. Uh, you know, that, I'm done. You know, that, that yeah. is my abstraction. That's a, the level at which I'm invited to think. The code is fragmented and scattered around. The relationships are thrown to the winds. It's yeah. a matter of detective work and archaeology to recover them. Um, whereas, a, uh, whereas when I work with a document, um, and this is, you know, this, this is true of, of many different uh, uh, editors and word processors, I can get a high-level structure. I can do an outline structure. I can say, yeah. show me the dependencies. Show me the cross-references. Do this kind of stuff. In other words, it's... Uh, spreadsheets are absolutely, you know, they are an absolute mess. And I, I always say this, and somebody says, "Oh, but users find them intuitive." They find them intuitive to use, but they—it's like walking into, it's like walking to a minefield. You, you can yes. walk into a minefield incredibly easily. The problem yeah. is, we have been depriving, and I think this is—you know—I actually, I'm going to, I'm going to push this one right back to the profession here. We've been depriving people of the things that we know. Yes. Um, uh, it, because we know that a spreadsheet is a it's got a terrible type system it's mm -hmm. astonishingly bad um and if anybody ever throws up the argument of backward compatibility that is absolute nonsense we've actually seen formats for um uh, documents change on a five to ten year cycle yeah. um there's no backward compatibility issue here at all with things like excel that's a myth um you know you're looking at a five-year window at most mm -hmm. explain to me why it is that my, my Excel looks like it was developed 30 years ago, but everything else that I'm using looks like it was developed in at least the last decade. Yeah. Why, why has Excel failed to take on board all of these other tools that we know to show dependencies? And the third thing to come back to is that people don't realize that there are these issues. So they therefore, they, they, they scale up very, uh, very, very poorly. They, they embed many mistakes. Now, the point here is what, the reason I'm riffing on this is because you talked about the low code stuff. Mm -hmm. Spreadsheets are by far and away the world's most successful low code to no code solution. And, and anybody who hopes to rival that is just kidding themselves. Um, I'm going to say that right now. You know, I'm not predicting the future. It's just like those hit a very particular stride. They have embedded themselves in a particular way um, in, a, in, a, in a particular world. And, they've, uh, and they're very current. They are ubiquitous. But if anybody wants to learn how... Um, to do and how not to do learn from its successes and learn from its failures and what are the things that it's good at and not good at um, and then also go back through the history of four gls um, and what you'll discover is that you what there's a there's a there's a line that you're looking to draw and you need to understand that it's not universal there's a line here you need to work out where it is it's like this is the bit that allows people the convenience they want and then there's this other bit that's incredibly hard if you're yes. if you're assuming that they can do you're going to you're they're going to be in for a big and nasty shock um and we're just going to be throwing more stuff over the wall at other people um for oh we need to customize this or oh this is something that we knocked up um and you know uh, but we're having a couple of problems with it and then you kind of suddenly yeah. looks at it and 
you know, it's just like at this point, they suddenly discover that they are, in fact, an Olympic runner because that's the only way they can get away from it uh, fast enough. <laughs> that we are, if we're not doing this one right, so I don't have any grievance with low code. It's just that when people talk about it as a general solution, no, what's valuable yeah, yeah, is yeah. a highly specific solution. Yeah, that's yeah. its that, value. That, that's yeah. the value. The, the, the na- yeah. a, 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 narrow, narrow, a narrow, constrained focus. Yeah. They're great really tools. good at that thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. so again, it goes back to this question, this quest for generality that we sometimes have. We overgeneralize, make things uh, either we end up overgeneralizing, make things ridiculously complex for ourselves, yeah. or we end up not overgeneralizing and forever working around, taking yeah. something that really wasn't. It's, but it's, that but it's, 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 it's that it's that really, really, you know, shades of gray kind of yeah. slippery slope over a snake pit <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, you, you, you're mixing my metaphors horribly but but <laughs> but you you can't you kind of go from you know I, i'm adding up a column of numbers in my spreadsheet cool that's really nice it's really good for that to uh, you know i've built this thing and if i change that it goes and recalculates all of these other things and does all this you know which is an un- unmaintainable big ball of mud and yeah. the, you know, there's there's it's, no there's no easy way to define the line between between where you yeah. step over and it becomes. Yeah. Don't this do is that. The right, that the with Lego bricks. Yeah, it is. is yeah, yeah to, absolutely. You know, you, you, it's just like you tread carefully, put push push your foot out just in front yeah. of you, just to. And I think that that is the again that feeds back into this idea that what we're looking for is 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 an approach. A, a philosophical um, approach, but a practical approach. I mean, it, it, you know, I'm definitely of the school of thought that. Um, uh, I guess old school philosophy in the sense that philosophy was intended to be a practical thing to, yeah. to help you understand life. It was not intended to be abstract and disconnected from life. It, it was intended to be quite the opposite. So for me, this idea of actually what we want from how we think about software, we need a, we need to understand is like, yeah, it's a bit experimental. Um, there's, 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 there's things that are unknown and actually not only is that okay but that's actually part of the job it's not just acceptable yes. it, it, it's, it's no it's it is the done. job it, it, is, it, is, it the is the job, job. Yeah. Yeah.